Are we about to witness a seismic shift in the Lakers' landscape? Rumors are swirling about a potential blockbuster trade that could send a beloved superstar back to his former team. Could this be the move that reshapes the franchise's future? Stick around, because you won't want to miss this scoop. If you're a die-hard Lakers fan, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video to stay updated on all things Lakers. Anthony Davis back to the New Orleans Pelicans? I mean, wow! This wild trade scenario proposed by Sports Illustrated has got all of us Lakers fans buzzing, and I have to say, it's a roller coaster of emotions. In this hypothetical trade, we'd be sending Davis back to New Orleans in exchange for Brandon Ingram, Jordan Hawkins, Antonio Reeves, and a treasure trove of first round picks. I'll be honest, it feels like a crazy dream that would likely never happen, but let's unpack this because it's intriguing. First off, let's talk about what the Pelicans would gain. Bringing Davis back could turn them into absolute championship favorites. With a roster already stacked with talent, adding a player of Davis's caliber, who averaged nearly 25 points and 13 rebounds last season, would be a game changer. Imagine him pairing up with Zion Williamson. That's a front court that would terrify any opposing team. The Pelicans already have playmakers like DeJount Murray and CJ McCollum. Davis would not only boost their offense but transform their defense as well. They'd be a nightmare for teams in the West, and let's face it, the Lakers have struggled to keep up with those competitors. Now, let's shift our focus back to the Lakers. If this trade were to go through, it would mark the beginning of a rebuild, and I have mixed feelings about that. Sure, we'd be gaining valuable assets and young talent, but it also means we're likely waving goodbye to our championship aspirations in the short term. LeBron James is in year 22 of his career, and while he's still an incredible player, the clock is ticking. It's hard to imagine the Lakers without Davis in the lineup, but maybe this is the necessary step toward building a sustainable future. Brandon Ingram's return to LA is fascinating, too. He's proven he can be a significant contributor, averaging over 20 points per game. Pairing him with LeBron could rekindle that chemistry we saw before he left. Jordan Hawkins and Antonio Reeves add depth and shooting, which is crucial in today's NBA. But then again, how long until we see the fruits of those draft picks? It could take years for those players to develop into the stars we need to compete again. What's also worth noting is the potential for a more relaxed final chapter for LeBron. If the team shifts its focus to rebuilding, perhaps he'll have the chance to enjoy the game and play alongside his son when that time comes. But is that what we want? I mean, I'm torn here. The competitive spirit in me wants to see us chasing titles, not entering a rebuilding phase. But then again, the realities of the NBA can be harsh, and if we don't set ourselves up for the future, we could find ourselves in a worse situation down the line. So, I ask you, Lakers Nation, do you believe this could be the best decision for the franchise? I, honestly, am divided on this. The idea of sending Davis back to New Orleans is a lot to process, but it also makes sense in the grand scheme of things. It could pave the way for a brighter future while giving Davis a chance to chase more titles with a team that's on the rise. And you, what do you think? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Are you in favor of a trade like this, or do you think we should hold on to Davis? Let's get that discussion going. Your insights, frustrations, and expectations matter, so share them. Remember to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates on the Lakers. You don't want to miss anything as we navigate this wild season. And don't forget to activate the notification bell so you're always in the loop on everything Lakers. Until next time, keep the faith, Lakers fans.